Welcome to the 2022 Macquarie Technology Summit. We're delighted once again to be joined by clients, partners and investors from around the world to share in a series of sessions exploring the disruptive progress driven by technology. And over the next 24 hours, the summit will follow the sun as global leaders across a broad spectrum of tech innovations share their perspectives on where we stand today and the challenges and the opportunities ahead of us. Now, since we gathered for this summit in 2021, there has been no slowdown in technological innovation that continue to expand what is possible. Last year, we spoke about how against the prevailing backdrop of automation and digitization, the COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the adoption of emerging and next generation technologies. As the world grappled with overlapping waves of lockdowns and the inability to connect in person, technology enabled economies to continue functioning in the face of a new kind of challenge. With the world now in a new phase of living with COVID-19, the contribution of technology is just as pervasive. Indeed, it's technology that brought us to the point of relative normality with the two most effective vaccines against the virus based on messenger RNA technology that was being developed well before the pandemic began. The changes wrought by the last two years have had lasting effect on the way we live, work and learn and the way our businesses operate. Over the course of the summit, we'll hear from established and emerging companies and from academics who will explore technology's impact on the workplace and how we prepare society for the workplace of the future. And we'll explore the continued growth of ed tech and the new possibilities this continues to create for children and adults to learn anywhere and at any time. And importantly, we'll also hear from some of the world's biggest technology investors, from superannuation and pension funds and industry managing over 50 trillion US dollars to leading venture capital firms that are backing entrepreneurs building some of our most loved digital brands. Last year, startups raised more venture capital funding than ever before, reaching 621 billion US dollars. And we're delighted to showcase several of these tech startups carving out new niches and disrupting well-established industries during our agenda today. From companies making clean water from sunlight and air, bringing photographs to life with artificial intelligence, managing compliance risks, or capturing data to monitor commodity inventories, we hear from entrepreneurs who have successfully identified unmet need in their communities and applied technology to find a solution. The market capitalization of value tech stocks rallied 57% during 2021, significantly outperforming the 28% growth in the broader S&P 500 index over that same period. A phenomenal performance. Indeed, since the fourth quarter of 2019, many of the most active areas of capital expenditure have related to technology, including research and development, software, computers, and communications. However, conversely, since the start of this year, we've seen technology valuations fall more than the broader market, driven by the prospect of rising interest rates and more expensive funding, as well as some of the tailwinds from the COVID-19 lockdowns now reversing. We'll be joined by market commentators to help us make sense of this tech correction, and we'll hear firsthand from those providing capital to digital and technology-enabled businesses to assess how this shifting backdrop has impacted their approach. At Macquarie, we remain optimistic. Whilst the enthusiasm and specific circumstances that drove valuations to record heights were always set to lose some momentum, technology's long-term role in addressing societal challenge is undiminished. It is a moment for businesses to review their models, perhaps to consider a more conservative near-term approach to their available capital and funding. But many businesses go into this period after several years of making investments, which are now yielding more predictable revenue streams. There is little doubt that the digitization of the global economy will continue, and based on previous experience, that the current period of disruption 
will give rise to new ideas and new businesses that underpin the next growth phase for the sector. Now, new to our summit this year is a focus on the technologies that are driving solutions to mitigating and adapting to changing climate with an urgency that cannot be understated. For almost two decades, Macquarie has worked with governments and clients to advance practical solutions to climate challenges, all of which been, have been grounded in technological advancements. And we're not the only ones. With investment in companies developing technology to address the climate challenge growing to almost 90 billion US dollars annually, and the average size of a climate tech deal quadrupling to almost 100 million US dollars. We introduce some of the innovative relationships we have built through our green investment group and across our business in this year's agenda, exploring the development and adoption of electric vehicles from cars to heavy duty trucks. We'll also address the role of technology in decarbonising energy intensive industries, including carbon capture, fuel decarbonisation and green hydrogen production, for all of which technological viability continues to advance rapidly. And beyond considering how some of the world's biggest challenges are being solved through technology, we'll also focus on regions that are increasingly recognised as innovation hubs, from the vibrant technology industry in Germany to emerging innovations from Israel and the ever-increasing appeal of Southeast Asia for entrepreneurs and investors alike. We talk to startups born out of these global hotspots and discuss what makes them a fertile ground for such creativity. The enduring ability of technology to build a better future is a theme that will take us through the next 24 hours as our speakers share what most excites them about the disruptive potential of technology well beyond 2022. Technology continues to intersect all areas of Macquarie as well, from our own operations to how we innovate and invest to empower our clients and our partners. In the past year, we've built on our leadership in digital banking, developing an even faster account opening experience for our customers. We also continue to support interesting and entrepreneurial businesses across a spectrum of industries. And through investment in data and digitalization, we're driving our own businesses and our portfolio companies forward. And some of those companies exist specifically to improve digital equity and access. While more broadly across the portfolio, we're focused on investing in technologies to improve the service provided to communities that rely on them every day. We look forward to continuing those investments in the years ahead and embracing the potential of technology to build a better future. So I hope you find today's sessions thought-provoking and inspiring. And thank you again for joining us at the 2022 Macquarie Technology Summit.